The morning had started at the Mid-Traverse Camp, high on the west exposure to Bailey. By noon, they had climbed still higher and had topped the ridge looking east toward the Elwha. By 5.30, they had descended to Cream Lake Basin, only to be met by a drove of mosquitoes, and moved on to Billy Everett Lake, arriving there a little after 7 o'clock. The day had been a long one and tiring, due in part to the nature of the country and to the accumulation of little delays caused by the size of the party. Yet nothing which couldn't be erased by a good night's rest, a small ration of gazinta, and despite the fact that the two experimental stoves had malfunctioned momentarily, making it necessary to cook over an open fire, under the now expert touch of the junior cooking staff, the stick to the ribs nourishment of a freeze-dried steak. And assuming there was enough energy left before it was time to hit the sack, a final and appreciative look at a passing glory as the sun and the moon and the stars keep pace. And time itself grows beautifully dim on the edge of a darkening world. 